Hello, hello. Okay, I am answering a question for, let me go back to my profile. Sorry about that. We have the screenshot. Let's see this one. Community category. Okay, here we go. I'm answering this question for Seth. And Seth's question is, hey, I have a data set that has these different filters in it. I want a filter to show X number of pieces in one dashboard and not the other one. Uh, a defined set of filters, right? Example in the screenshot below, I want to hide a mission email from dashboard two. So if we look at this screenshot in this one right here to be able to hide uh, these other columns right here at mission email for a filter. Let me show you a little trick we can do here. So instead of doing the filter at the top here for someone to use, you could just make a filter down here. And how you make a filter is you would do plus create new card. I'm going to use this card because I already have it, but I'll show you. You'd say plus create new card, use your data set. You go to chart types, you go to filter at the bottom, and you would pick this one, drop down selector. You would put your item in items and then also in group by and sorting. And if you want to, you say general, and you could say allow multiple selections. And now this is one that I did for somebody else is you can pick all three of these again. So you're making it so that someone cannot see the uh, columns in your filter at the top. Then what you can do, if I did not want pho to show, for instance, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to say not in. So now they cannot see that as an option on dashboard too. So if I go here, save and close, what I would do is I would do it this way. So I would have multiple filters or whatever you need here as a top and not use this one at the top here. And if you are uh, embedding, what you can do is you can use embed and you could say, do not show filter bar. So no one will be able to see this at the top if it's an embed, right? Um, you could do that. You could, those are some options. You can lock the page so no one can really do anything here to, to allow it. Those are some options. Hopefully that helps you out. Hey, additionally, if you do need extra help, if you go to dashboard.com, beads.com slash pantry, I have a bunch of other videos where I've answered questions similar to yours. So check this out or anybody else watching it. If you go there, dashboarddudes.com slash pantry, did a bunch of different answers there to help you out with your Domo questions. All right. Let me know that it helps. Thanks. Bye.